So I started in Old Town Gaithersburg and I had a storefront and we taught the classes, we did custom work and we sold supplies. And I was reaching a point where the commission work was taking off pretty well. And the retail, I love teaching, I love teaching, but the retail end of things uh, takes a lot of work and a lot of time. So we actually decided to close the store, build a studio at my home in Rockville and just do the custom work and also teach. And when the city found out, they let me know about the potential of the arts barn that was just, it still was under construction. It was a hundred year old barn that they were renovating to be an art center. And they asked me to go take a look. So I went and took a look and there was a meeting to kind of explain what they wanted to do with it. It was supposed to be an outreach to the community and people could apply for one of four studios at the time. And it was a great opportunity. The inside of it's beautiful exposed brick and they had it wired in 220 that would handle a kiln that I needed. So they had kind of thought in advance of what artists would need. And there's a 100 seat theater upstairs. I mean, typically they keep the theaters on the main floor and put, make the artists carry things up the stairs. So. That was a great opportunity to be on the ground floor. I have 24 hour access. Um, I can come in here and work late at night. I can come in early morning. Uh, the ability to have that time whenever I need it is really helpful because artists typically don't work a nine to five and, uh, and especially running kilns and it's very helpful to be able to come in whenever I need to. Um, and just the atmosphere of the arts barn and the energy here is so positive. You've got artists going in to be in plays. You've got artists across the street working in clay or painting. You've got kids running around learning all different forms of art. And then you've got a gentleman who's in his 90s who's still teaching painting across the hall. I mean, I'd love to be teaching glass at 90 and, and have as much uh, inspiration and uh, excitement about the craft as he does about his paintings.